All right, learners, now that you understand the concept of the fact that there is a double entry and that the two sides add up to the same, now we want to go one step further. Remember we said at the beginning that the reason for going, or one of the reasons for going into business, is to make a profit. And this profit will then increase your worth, what you are worth. Now, we've just seen that we've got some expenses and we've got some income. Now these two together actually give us what profit or loss we actually make. Now if we look in this exercise over here, remember counting the beans, we got 11,000 rands worth of income. But we had 7,000 rands of expenses to pay. Now the income, remember, came from cutting people's hair. These were expenses that you had to pay in order to run your business. It was the shampoo that get used up, the rent, the wages, and so on. They're not assets. They're not worth anything. So out of this 11,000, you pay the seven. And that means that you've made a 4,000 Rand profit. So who does that profit belong to? Let me ask you the question. Who put the money into the business? Who took the risk and made the investment? Well, the owner. And so this, this 11,000 here will go, three, six, seven of it will go towards covering the expenses. And you left with four. Now this four is going to go to the capital. It's going to add on to the owner's investment in this business. Now we can summarize this by writing up what we call a statement of owner's equity or a statement of his investment. So while we started off with a capital of 10,000, remember you can go back to the beans, he had the original 10. He took drawings out of a thousand. Now drawings will redu reduce his capital because he's taking money out of the business. Just like you would take money out of a bank, for example, and you'd have less capital in the bank. But this business has made a profit. Remember, we said that we made a profit of 4,000. And this profit then belongs to the owner and it gets added onto his investment. And so his investment, which was 10,000 at the beginning, has now grown to 13,000. Why? Because he put capital into a business which involved a risk, he earned a profit, and he's now worth more. Teachers, just a word to you. This is a very good way to introduce this concept to learners where they're using beads because they're actually putting they're actually putting the money in, the beans in, or they're taking it out. And it helps to teach the concept of increasing and decrease. But it's not very practical in class. So you could use it as an introduction. Thereafter, instead of using beans, you can, they can just write the figures down and they can increase and decrease the figures. And what we strongly recommend is that you now go to the New Era textbooks where we work with a spreadsheet. And in the spreadsheet, which is nothing more than an Excel program, the learners will be practicing to do the double entries. And sometimes they'll be plusing and sometimes they'll be minusing. But making sure that at the end of the day, everything is in balance. Now, if the learners can get to understand this concept, it'll make their lives so much easier later. So good luck with this, learner teachers.